Oh man, you guys are in for a treat today. Check out this crazy SGL drill. 40 times diameter, straight through, stainless, no pack. Whoo, we're gonna do it right now. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC. This right here is the baddest drill on the planet. Those of you that have a lot of experience in aerospace and complex industries, you guys know deep hole drilling in stainless is an art. Oh man, this is gonna be good. So before we get started, I just wanna quickly say, if you love the education, please subscribe to our channel. If you got ideas for future videos, put it in the comments. And if you like this video, go ahead and just click it, all right? And real quick, on a personal level, I am on Twitter now, so we're just gonna talk about life. We're gonna talk about going through the valleys and making it happen. So please, follow me on Twitter so we can change the world together. All right, so let's get back to deep hole drilling, all right? So the platform is the SGL drill. You guys already know the SGL drill is a crazy drill for stainless. You guys see me talking about the GO drill all the time. And I'm actually drilling Inconel and Titanium and Monel and Hastelloy with the GO drill because the GO drill is a standard tool. You can drill anything and it's cost effective. So now when you look at the SGL, you're looking at a drill that probably costs twice as much as the GO drill. So a lot of automotive companies, when they drill a million holes, the SGL is the go-to drill. Now, why would that be when it's at a higher price point? Because you can drill not only twice as fast as stainless, but you can drill a million more holes than the GO drill. So with the increased productivity, the drill pays for itself quickly and allows the machine to run forever at high productivity now, when we look at the SGL, we have different sizes. We're gonna have a nice stubby drill. That's gonna be our pilot drill. So we're gonna step into the material and actually drill down to 1.2. And that drilled hole will become the pilot for this guy. This size is a 40 times diameter drill. We're gonna slow this guy down so it's not wobbling. We're gonna insert it into the pre-drilled hole. And right before we hit the bottom, we're gonna turn it to full speed, coolant on, and we're just gonna drive this baby, no pecs, all the way down. Oh, I love my job. Let's do it. All right, so just a few things before we start this deep drilling cycle. So I pre-drilled this 316 stainless with an SGL stubby drill. We went Z negative 1.2. Now we're bringing the beast 40 times D. It's about to go down. So when we bring the drill down to the pre-drilled hole, we're gonna be at about 10% of the surface foot and inches per rev because we don't want it moving. I'm not even turning on my through coolant yet because I don't want any pressure. I just wanna have a perfect drill in line with the hole that I can come down in. All I care about is some lubricity right at that hole. So once the drill actually enters, we're gonna actually drop down to one times diameter, which is approximately 5 16 of an inch. The top coolant goes off and the through coolant starts at 1,000 PSI. Synergy 735, boom. Then we're gonna speed it up to 20% and we're gonna feed at 20%, just shy of the 1.2. It's incredibly important because I wanna make sure that when the drill hits, I'm approaching slow because what if a chip fell in? When you're drilling hard materials, a chip alone in the wrong place can ruin everything. 
as I come down slow and I'm actually going clockwise, which is the same direction that it's gonna be drilling in, if I do engage a chip, I can actually remove it before I hit the surface. When I'm about 30 thousandths off that surface, I'm actually going to go full speed. So we're at 150 SFM and inches per rev is at 0 0.003. And once that happens, we're going. There's no pecs, there's no turning back, just dropping in Z all the way to the bottom. Now let me talk a little bit about the pilot drill compared to the deep hole drill. One thing that I wanna make very clear is that the pilot drill, the diameter has to actually be larger than the deep hole drill. Now that might bring some confusion because both drills are exactly the same size, but they're not, okay? So check this out. You gotta look at the tolerance, okay? So when Canometo actually chose these drills as a pilot and a deep hole, they looked at the tolerance and the pilot has a greater tolerance on the high end, meaning the diameter is bigger, and the deep hole drill actually has a tolerance that's on the lower end, which makes it slightly smaller, right? We're just dealing with a few tenths because once that deep hole drill starts and it's traveling through the hole created by the pilot drill, you do not want it cutting material. You just want the pre-diameter hugging the deep hole drill just to position it perfectly so as it drills the material and it goes deep, it's perfectly straight. Here's another point that I want to make. It's important that the tip angle of your pilot drill is greater than the deep hole drill. The reason is we want the center of the drill to hit first, all right? and that'll allow you to go straight and have a perfectly drilled hole. If the outside corners hit first, you can chip the corners, which will greatly reduce the life of your drill. When I break through the bottom, I'll slow down to 100 RPMs and we'll just pull it back at 50 inches a minute, just being gentle. And then we'll take the entire process and we'll just do two more holes with the exact same drill. All right, so check this out. The SGL drill looks absolutely beautiful. The tip, all the cutting edges, the flutes, they look flawless, they look amazing. And that's after drilling through 316 stainless steel over 12 inches deep right through the bottom. I grabbed some of the chips. As the drill was dropping down, you could barely even hear any of the chips coming out. And look at how tiny they are. Like it just breaks those chips so perfectly. It's amazing. And there you go, the SGL drill, 40 times diameter, no pecking and stainless steel and high temps. It's the greatest drill I've ever used and I've used all of them. It's amazing, boom.